Hey, what's up everybody? So we always have to be cautious when buying silver, gold, any kind of precious metals online because there's always counterfeits. There's always people trying to sell you something that is not genuine. But that is especially true today when we are going through this pandemic and it's causing a lot of silver mines to close it's causing a lot of mints to close their doors for a short or extended period of time. And there is a lack of supply. There's not a lack of silver. There's plenty of silver. A lot of people like to say there's a lack of silver. There's not. But there is of certain types of coins, certain types of bullion, certain types of collectible items. There is a lower supply which is increasing demand um, and counterfeiters and people who are not looking their best interest are taking advantage of the situation and flooding the market with fake gold and silver items especially gold but there is plenty of fake gold silver items out there as well always be cautious and always try your best to test to test these items when you buy them off the secondary market if you choose to buy off the secondary market i like to go with the more reputable dealers at times i will purchase something off of the secondary market but always do your best to investigate take it to your local coin shop um, take it to somebody to a professional who would be able to confirm for you if it is fake or genuine um, if you don't have a local coin shop or somebody in your area, at least at the very least, if you you know have a earth magnet to test silver, um, have a scale. These are not always going to be 100% accurate since a lot of the fakes, a lot of the counterfeits today are very, very close to the real thing as far as the weight, as far as metal is concerned. They're very, very close as far as... The density is, you know, of the silver, of the gold. So a lot of these fakes are very, very close to the real thing. So the earth magnet is not always going to be 100% accurate. Scale is not always going to be 100% accurate. And there's a lot of videos out there. Um, Salivate Metal has a number of videos of fake gold and silver. Cyber Curtain Twitcher has tons of videos out there of fake gold and silver items i would encourage you to look at those videos and to kind of study of what you want to be looking for when it comes to finding fake and counterfeits when it comes to buying precious metals so we are going to take a look at this article from coinnews.net and this is up from the anti-counterfeiting educational foundation and it says online sales of fake gold and silver cost public millions the current enormous demand and limited supply of silver and gold bullion coins and other precious metal items during this illness pandemic have created a breeding ground for the distribution of counterfeits that is costing investors millions of dollars according to the nonprofit anti-counterfeiting educational foundation Counterfeiters using sophisticated online marketing techniques prey on the emotional fears and anxiety of the public. These counterfeiting problems continue to escalate, taking advantage of the public's vulnerability during the crisis. Stay at home and quarantine measures by ramping up online marketing tactics to sell fakes, state former Texas police sheriff Doug Davis, director of the Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation. Offering counterfeit precious metals items online is not new, but Davis said there recently have been a staggering number of new websites expressed purpose of profiting from the pandemic. He explained, since the onset of the pandemic, the Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation Task Force has been instrumental in identifying and monitoring over 100 websites selling counterfeit coin precious metals. Data and analysts of these sites have been given to the U.S. Treasury Office of Inspector General OIG 
at their request as well as provided to Border Protection and Secret Service, the information is used to identify counterfeiters, criminal organizations, and individuals who manufacture or import counterfeits with the express purpose of profiting from the pandemic crisis. Davis said many of the counterfeiters sellers use slick looking websites that may appear to be legitimate businesses, but the gold and silver items they offer are usually priced far below actual market value. So if you see something on eBay or if you see something on a website and it's a 2020 or any other kind of American Silver Eagle or a bullion coin or a bullion or just a generic bar or a silver round and spot price is $15, but it's selling usually for, you know, right, right now you're going to be seeing a lot of silver, um, you know, six to 12 to maybe $15 over spot, but you're seeing it on these websites for $14 or $10 or $8. Um, you know that that's probably too good to be true. It probably is. Well, in this case, especially when you're dealing with, with precious metals, you're never going to see or hardly ever going to see um, bullion or, you know, uh, precious metals under spot or, you know, in a lot of cases around spot, unless it's one of those one time deals where you get one, one, you know, purchase at spot or something like that. But um, normally if it's too good to be true, it is and just stay clear away. Um, and then it says that should be a red flag for any potential buyers. However, it appears millions of dollars have been lost by unsuspecting investors, Davis cautioned. If you know any, if you don't know precious metals, you better know a reputable dealer. Exactly like I said, hopefully you have a local coin shop. Hopefully you have some somebody who's a professional who deals with the selling and the buying of precious metals. Where if you buy it, um off of eBay or off of Facebook or off of YouTube or off of um, anywhere else, uh, secondary market, social media, you can take it to somebody, then they can verify that is a, it's a um, legit and genuine um, item. Collectors, dealers, and the general public are encouraged to report any counterfeits or counterfeit fraud activity by emailing Davis at Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation, and here is the, the address, and it's at, it's a Doug at acefonline.com. So then it goes on to say, the efforts of the nonprofit Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation and the Anti-Counterfeiting Task Force are supported entirely by donations. The efforts of the nonprofit Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation and its Anti-Counterfeiting Task Force are supported entirely by donations, monetary contributions may be made online at uh, this here address or by check made out to ACEF and mailed to this address here. So it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing with the uh, Anti-Counterfeiting Task Force. And um, and uh, once again, if you if you if you have come across anything that is not real, not genuine, fake, counterfeit, you know why not go ahead and report it. And as always, be cautious when you are uh, searching online on a secondary market for silver, especially gold, with it being at a, of a higher value most of the time. Um, so just be cautious when uh browsing online and you know most of the time i know a lot of us say it you know it's probably better to go with the online bullion dealers because most of the time i mean even though we want to be cautious there as well i mean fakes could possibly get through their hands also so no matter what be cautious test if you can test your silver and your gold and always uh run it past a expert at your local coin shop or at a coin show and um, and try to have something that, that you can test you know earth magnets or something like that or even 
a precious metals verifier, which is pretty costly. Um, I think they're anywhere from $600, $700 on up. So depending on how much you buy that or may, that may or may not be beneficial. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.